Today we're going to show you how to combine these two and put it in a, a binder, a three ring binder. Um, a friend of mine wanted a planner, but she wanted it in a three ring binder. So I am going to uncoil this one and uncoil these and combine them and put them in a three ring binder. Now we got all this stuff at Staples. Now this was not on sale. This is a current planner and the notebook was not on sale, but she wanted a current one. Later, I'm gonna show you how to take an old Erin Condon planner and make it a new Erin Condon planner. Um, I also got her some dividers. She wants to have some notebook paper in the back and notebook paper in between the months. And so I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's very, very simple. Um, many people, when they uncoil, they they try to like bend back this little piece right here and that I found was a pain. I just take wire cutters and snip off right where the bend is. You have plenty of coil. You're not going to have to worry about that. And plus we're not going to have to worry about it anyway because we're going to take this completely off. But it's quick. It's going to be so fast and easy. You'll be surprised how easy it is. So I'm going to do that first and then um, afterwards I'll show you how to put it in the notebook. So let's take these apart. First I'm gonna take off this little piece. It was just third directions, but the Aaron Condren was. And then we're gonna take the covers off because we don't really need them. And then again, I'm going to take wire cutters. Um, these are my husband's. They are really sharp. So if you can tell, it looks very manly kind of cover, cutter. So all you're going to do is find the bend in the planner and just snip it off. And then do the other side. Let it go. Let it go. And all you have to do is just start churning it. And as you see, it comes out pretty quickly. It doesn't take a lot of effort. You just keep churning it, churning it. all apart and see here's the little two pieces so now we're gonna do the notebook it's the same thing let's take the cover part off take the cover off take the other cover off now this one's gonna go a lot faster because one it's not as thick and two the coil is a lot smaller so again you just Grab on, snap a piece off, snap the other piece off, and you just start rolling. Like I said, this one's going to go a lot faster, you can tell already, see, it doesn't require much. One more churn and we're done. See if you can see that was so much quicker. All right, so now we need to put it in a three ring binder. So to do that, I use basically the dividers were like a, like almost like a template 
to see where I want it to cut it. Now, I don't know if these dividers are actually going to work after seeing them because they are a lot smaller. Yeah, these probably won't work if you can tell. <laughs> Here's the Erin Condren page, a lot left over. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is not even use these. And what I'm gonna do, I did this one before, is just we're gonna trim a line right down here, right on the other side, and then punch holes, three hole, the three hole punch. Now, um, to make things easier for me, I have a, now I got this from Stamping Up, but you can get, a similar brand from Michaels, AC Moore, Joanna Farrett's, Hobby Lobby, they all have their type of paper cutters. The same thing. Um, this one has a thing right here to make mark on the page so you can see where you're going to be before you cut. And then this one is the cutter. So you can get these anywhere to make it easier. Uh, the second thing you're going to also need is a three hole punch. Now this is the one from Staples, and what I do when I hole punch, and I probably silly that I do this, but I actually take off the back and I punch it this way, so I can see where the holes are going to be. So um, what I'm probably going to do is take a piece of paper or something and make a, like a template first with the notebook to line up the holes. And then that will be my template to use to make the holes. So let me demonstrate one real fast. I'm going to trim off this paper first. And then I'll show you how to use a template. So I'm going to do this one because these have the dividers on it. I'm just going to take a few pages. Mine usually can do about five. And what I'm going to do, let me move this out of the way so you can see. What I'm going to do is I literally just go on the outside of the edge. My cut apart is right here. So I line it up. Just like that. Making sure that it is straight. And it looks like it is. And then I use, whoops. Then I use my little marker here and see, okay, is that where I want the line? I don't know if you can see it, but it makes a little mark. And that's perfectly where it is. Let me do it one more time so you can see it. I'll just, if I do it hard enough, you'll see that dent mark. Do you see it? You can barely see it, but it makes a little line. And then, so yeah, that's perfect. That's what I want it. So now I can take my cutter and just slide it through. And I do it a couple of times just to make sure it went through all the sheets. And there it goes. That's how you get rid of all the holes. So that's what it was the first one. So then we're going to take, I'm going to take a piece of the notebook, a couple of pieces of notebook paper, doing the same thing. The good part is you don't have to have exact measurements, measurements because it's going to line up perfect every time if you just do it on the outside of that. I'm going to test it with the thing to make sure that's where I want it and make sure it's straight. Yep, that looks good. And then we're going to do it with the cutter. That was a little too thick. It didn't go all the way through, but that's okay. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to take one of the sheets. I think I'll use this part because we're not going to need that in the notebook. And I think I'll use that as my template to put in the notebook. So to put it in, we're going to want it like right there. So I think that's pretty good where it's at. It's going to sit perfectly like that. And so I'm going to take pencil. Need to get a pencil. Hold on one second. Okay. So now that I have it all lined up, this is when I'm going to use this because this is going to be perfectly set for the number for the for the holes. So that's where we want it. So I'm going to slide this out, slide this all the way over to the edge, and now see it's all lined up where I wanted it. 
And now I'm just going to pull this out and make little circles for the holes. And then this is where it comes in handy to do this upside down. So if you look, you can line up the holes where the punch is. And then you just punch it. And then when you go put it in, It's that it's been perfectly. So I'm gonna finish cutting these and punching them in, and then when we're completely done, I'll show you what it looks like. Completely done. We have it all inside. We have cut off the perforated edges and put three holes in it. So it's completely done. And after it, every month, we added a couple of extra notebook papers. And then in the very back, she wants to keep track of her workouts. We added a lot more of the notebook paper. So this is completely done and ready to go. This is the first six months. It's a total of 18 months, but with adding the paper, it, it was too much for the binder. So this is for the first six months, and then I'm gonna give her the rest of the pages. But for temporary, I wanna show you um, what we did also. We also made it into a year so right here this is january through december so a year can fit in a three wing binder the 18th month was just a little tight with the extra notebook paper um if we didn't have the extra notebook paper all of it could have fit in so michelle and i weren't really happy of how the other notebook came out so we went to staples and we bought uh, one of these notebooks it seems like it fits better um, the other one, the pages were kind of hanging out more. So what I did is I took the cover um, that we thought would match. I have more than one of these covers, but we thought this matched perfectly with this notebook. And I trimmed it down to fit in the sleeve. And I put the front cover here, and it says 2015. But her notebook goes 2015 to 2016. And I took the back and I put it right behind it. So when 2015's up, she could just pull this out and then the back cover won't have the 2015 on it. I also put a little thing on the side of the excess trim to make it look really pretty. So it came out really nice, as you can see. And this is a combination of the planner and the notebook. So um, it, like I trimmed this all out so she can have her stickers but after every couple of pages at the end of the month we added um, some extra notebook paper and then we added a whole bunch in the back because she wants to keep track of her workouts so I cannot wait to give this to her tomorrow and I think she's gonna like it and be very excited about it because it came I think it came out really really well so anyway um, I just wanted to give you an update of what we did and how we designed the cover and everything. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, thanks for watching.